So the way deep sea mining works is effectively you're putting down an excavator onto the seafloor, the bottom of the ocean. It goes through and, and grinds up and excavates the seafloor, takes the minerals at once, takes the rest of the ocean ecosystem on the bottom of the seafloor along with it, uh, sends it up a riser pipe to a mothership, extracts out the minerals that it wishes, and then puts the wastewater, all the stuff that it doesn't want, back in the ocean. Yes, if there was a, a rare species, that's, that's gone. If there was a 4,000-year-old coral, there are corals in some of these claim areas that are as old as the pyramids, that are the oldest living thing on the planet that we've yet discovered. But honestly, the thing that keeps me most up at night are the impacts and the scale of potential for negative impacts that come from the plumes themselves. So you have this midwater plume that's created when you release all of this wastewater from the mining operations back into the ocean. That could be tens to hundreds of kilometers large. There's a huge amount of opportunity from science to environmental advocates to managers to indigenous people, all that could come together and get the same kind of equitable and transparent access to this data that uh, as of yesterday was not open to everyone in the, in the world. And that's, that's amazing, that's important.